What's going on, people? Mike C-Town here with another episode of Records and Ramblings. Before we get to the records, let's do a little bit of rambling. Um, yeah, it's been like, I don't know, three weeks, I want to say, since I've done a video. Uh, I'm really trying to close that gap of time between me doing videos, but um, yeah, at some point soon, I'll be able to kind of reveal what's been occupying a lot of my time, but right now it's a bit premature. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm here now. Patrons, um, I have a new video coming out, which is an Out of My Element video, and it'll be on uh, that rapper Cemetery, because uh, that's what won the Patreon-only poll. Um, so that'll be out at some point this week. Um, I don't know how excited I am for that. Um, I guess we'll see. But, uh, but yeah, there's also a new post on my Patreon page that is asking for recommendations for the next Out of My Element video. So if you're a patron, go check that out. My apologies to you guys for being such a slack piece of shit. Um, I also want to direct you guys to my, my homeboy, Scott Brian Wilson's new comic book series. It's called True Cult. Um, it's about a burnout who works at a fast food place, uh, and he ends up kind of getting wrapped up with uh, this satanic cult who's really pissed off at him for... Uh, a, a reason I can't reveal because I don't want to ruin the story, but um, yeah, he sent me the first couple of issues and I'm really digging it, man. Um, I don't read comics at all anymore these days, but um, I don't know, I really got sucked into the writing on this. It's funny as shit in a super dry and kind of quirky way. Um, but yeah, man, I'm, I, I'm digging it, man. The, the, the issues are on stands right now, so definitely go grab a copy or two. I'm actually going to bug Scott into uh, sending me some more issues because, I mean, the last the last issue I read ended on a kind of a cliffhanger, you know, uh, a cliffhanger involving my homegirl, Bernice. So I, I, I want to see what happens next. But um, but yeah, if you like comics, if you like heavy metal, if you like Satan, um, if you like burnout stories, uh, yeah, man, this is this is right up your alley. So um, check that out. But um, yeah, all that out of the way, let's talk about some records. First record I'm gonna show you, this is Chamber Freud with uh, Puissance du Vide, Triomphe de Mortes. I am butchering that, all kinds of, of, of up. <laughs> That's not a saying, but um, yeah, anyways, front cover back cover. I've talked about Chamber Freud on my channel a few times. Um, their album, uh, Rue Chapelle, was one of my favorite albums of the year that it came out, whatever year that was. Um, this came out in 2020, and it's great. This was on my best of the year list as well. But yeah, they're a French black metal band. Um, really pissed off, angry black metal. Great, great riffs. Um, the band kind of reminds me a little bit, a little bit, of cult offensive at times, just uh, without without the sketch. But uh, but yeah, this is a fucking awesome record. And um, before I was doing this video, I actually noticed that this was limited to 300 copies, and there are still copies of this on their Bandcamp page. Which I think I think that's an absolute crime. These should have been sold out a long time ago. Um, so get on that, y'all. Um, I also noticed on Metal Archives that the band is listed as split up. Um, and I keep saying they, but it's one guy. Uh, I believe it's just one guy. Um, but yeah, I didn't know that he had stopped doing this project. He has other projects, uh, St. Marie de Loops, and um, I think he, I think Ravensdom is actually done too. But um, I like just about everything I've heard from this guy's projects. Um, so yeah, hopefully he keeps those up, but it's really sad to see that there's not gonna be any more Chamber Freud stuff, but um, yeah. This record's awesome, go buy it. The next record I'm gonna show you, this is Difference Machine with Unmasking the Spirit Fakers. Um, Difference Machine is a local, damn, this thing always falls out. This is some, uh, some 3D glasses that I literally learned, um, I don't know, maybe about 20 minutes ago that the cover is actually in 3D. So, ooh, you can't see that. Um, but trust me that the things on the cover are jumping out at me right now. Um, anyways, Difference Machine. It's a local, um, hip-hop group. 
Really, really, really good stuff. I've talked about them before, I believe. But um, yeah, it's DT, who's the MC, and uh, I believe he also does scratches on here. And then it's Dr. Conspiracy, who produces. Um, but yeah, it also has a lot of other instrumentation from other folks, but I think they have a sound that is truly unique. You know, it's noisy, it's psychedelic, it's, uh, it's super dense but it's still on some b-boy shit. So I think it has a sound that, you know, I don't hear a lot of other groups doing. And uh, man, DT is such an ill MC. And um, yeah, this is easily one of the year's best rap albums. So if you've not heard it, check it out ASAP. It features Cyrock, features Denmark Vesey, features Dylan, who's also the homie. I have a couple of his records as well, so I'll be showing those in the next video. Um, it also has Quelle Chris on it, man. Yeah, it's stacked, so you need this record in your life. Next record I'm gonna show you, this is The Hand of Glory and Shroud Split. I am really, really fucking happy to have a copy of this, because I didn't think I'd ever get one. Um, this is on Death Hymns Records. Don't know what the limitation of this is, but um, yeah, this sold out before I could actually get one. Um, anyway, I, I've talked about Hand of Glory on my channel before. Um, some of the best, most twisted black metal to come from the United States. Um, unfortunately, the guy behind the project, Lamb, he passed away a few years ago. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I didn't think I'd actually be able to get a copy of this. It sold out before I could grab one. Um, I had spoken to Lamb. I was actually supposed to get a copy directly from him, but um, he passed away before that could happen. I think he actually passed away before the physical release of this. So I don't think he ever actually got to see this. Um, but yeah, anyways, I felt super weird buying this from some fucking asshole flipper because of course, I mean, they would have jacked the price up anyway, but after he passed away, the prices went even higher. So it was just ridiculous. So I just, I put it off for a while, just kept watching him on Discogs. And finally, uh, someone put it up for a, a fairly decent price, you know, and I just said, fuck it and bought it. And I was really happy. Um, and the Discogs guy was, was super friendly as well. So, you know, that's a plus. Records on black won't bother showing you that, but I, I, I do want to show you the center labels because I think, I just think they're really fucking cool, man. And this is the insert, this is the enshroud side, and this is the Hand of Glory side. But yeah, Hand of Glory, super nasty, noisy black metal, and Shroud is as well. Um, as I said, Hand of Glory is from the States and Shroud is from New Zealand and they're awesome too. Um, I need to, I need to look into their other stuff. I haven't gotten a chance to do that yet, but, um, but yeah, I fucking love Hand of Glory. Um, I've been kicking myself in the ass so hard for not getting one of those Hand of Glory shirts that, uh, Liver Mortis was selling some time ago. Um, I'd fucking kill for one of those crew necks, man. Um, I have an old... Hand of Glory shirt that I absolutely love and I'm stoked to have it. But those crew necks were so nice. So um, so yeah, if any of you don't wear yours and you wanna sell it, um, holler at your boy. And rest in peace to Lamb. You know, it's not often that you meet someone that's, uh, you know, a creator of black metal who's actually a genuinely nice dude. And um, I only talked to him online but he seemed like a genuinely nice dude. So um, I'm sure the black metal scene as well as his family and friends greatly miss him. Last two records from the same band. Um, but yeah, this is uh, Truha with uh, Novej Kalhenjenho. Look, you know, uh, I feel like I feel like you guys can't say anything to me for butchering the name of this. I don't even know if I'm butchering the name of it because I found out kind of recently that uh, the words here, it's a made up language. Like this is not like T-R-H-A, it's not a real word. You know, I mean, I guess it's a real word, but it's a word that was created by the person behind this band. And I've never heard anyone say the band name out loud. So I don't know if it's supposed to be pronounced as Truha or Traha, I don't fucking know, dude, but 
I just say True Hav because I'm usually only saying the band's name in my head, so it doesn't matter. But at any rate, this shit, oh my god, this shit is fucking awesome. This is incredible black metal um, with killer riffs, great drumming, overall really, really, really interesting compositions with this stuff, especially for a one-man band. This is one of those bands where I'm... I'm blown away that it's just one guy. It, it's insane to me. I almost said records on black won't bother showing you that, but then I pulled it out and remember that it's actually on gray. And then for a hot second in my brain, I said <laughs> records on gray. So I'm gonna say, hey, and you know what? I'm not gonna fucking edit that out. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Because you know, you guys come to this channel to see me at my lamest, at my dorkiest, at my loser -ist. Um, and yeah, that thing that I just said, that's the epitome of me at my loser -ist, ist At any rate, um, this is on Ixiol. You know, I've never heard the label's name pronounced out loud either, so I don't know if I'm fucking that up either, but I think it's Ixiol. At any rate, Great label, and the guy behind the label is very, very, very nice. Once again, man, it's it's cool when you run into dudes in the black metal scene that are actually nice people, because if you're a fan of black metal and you have been around for a while, you'll know that a lot of these dudes are fucking shitheads, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know if the guy behind the band, Truha, is a nice guy, but I, I I have a feeling he is. I have a feeling he's a he's a good dude. Anyway, this is another True Ha record. This is gonna be the last record of this uh, video. But um, this album is called Ingape. I think is how you pronounce that, or Inagape. Inagape. I don't fucking I don't know, dude. Front cover, back cover. Um, this is actually one of my favorites of all of the stuff that he's done. Um, this one just has really, really good riffs and lots of great atmosphere. Um, but it also sounds vicious at times. Like it sounds aggressive and pissed off, but, um, I don't know. There are, there are even a few riffs on here, um, that take me back to like, um, hearing some of that old Norwegian stuff for the first time. Um, but yeah. If anyone was looking to get started with this band, then I would definitely recommend starting with this one. Um, some of their other projects, they, I keep saying they, um, some of his other projects can be a little quirky. Um, I still like them. I think they're great, but um, I think this stuff is a bit more um, straightforward. It's raw, but it's not raw to the point of not being able to decipher anything. It's just, I don't know, man. It's hard to describe. I just think that this band is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. The guy behind the project is also in a band called Sadness. That's also fantastic. Um, he's in a couple of other bands as well. And those are good too. Um, I just think the guy's really talented when it comes to writing black metal. You know, it's not just a big wall of noise. It actually has some textures and some layers to it. It's Really, really good. Um, but yeah, that's it for this edition of Records and Ramblings. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I've been away for so long, but I'm gonna do better, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do better by you guys. Um, I mean, I, I gotta get back into the habit of doing these videos more often, because I'm, I'm rusty, dude. I'm fucking rusty. You know, this is the second time I filmed this video, because the first time, I forgot to turn the mic on. So it was me doing some fucking mime shit, you know? I'm look up here looking like art from Terrorizer, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm back, hopefully. Hold me to it, I'm back. And I'm gonna have more videos for you soon. I love your faces, even though I can't see them, I'm sure you're all beautiful. Um, but yeah, that's it, um, as usual. Thank you for loving, thank you for loving, thank you for being you, and I'll see you guys next time, all right? And before I do all this, drop some comments down there and let me know what's going on, man. What have you guys been buying? What records have you purchased lately? What am I missing? Um, all that good shit. All right, peace out, boy.